The time has arrived. I don't know what time it is, honestly, but welcome to the video. I'm going to take these off. It's actually not the sun's behind the clouds, so we've got a few minutes before uh, it kills us again. But the sun's going to make it look great because these shots, you're going to love them. I'm going to love them. I'm going to keep these forever. Anyway, let's get to it before the sun kills me again because, again, it's 26 degrees for the past few days, and I've been inside for the most part because I haven't had this. Let me introduce to you the updated, different coloured Lexus RCF. I did actually think about the colour of this shirt before I came out today, they asked me that when I got there, but there it is, the Lexus RCF has been changed to a, what's it called, I forgot the actual colour name, should probably remember that, Turquoise Lavender, that's the name of it, and it's a wrap by Oracle, a colour shift, and as you can clearly tell, when you walk around the car, no matter what angle you look at, the direct angle is the, the, the turquoise, and then the other outside around it is the lavender and honestly it is the coolest thing ever to look at now they've done an absolutely incredible job and I'm, I'm definitely going to keep these WMC stickers rocking on the car if you want to go check out you in the Birmingham area oh my god they did a fantastic job with the whole thing I could have gone in at any point to kind of look at the car but I thought I'd surprise myself when it is 100% complete because the, the change is amazing I had my doubts about this color I wasn't sure if it was going to work because this was the image I first saw of this colour on this car. There isn't much you can tell about it because on the actual Oracle video they put a filter on the video and you couldn't really tell. You can't tell until you see it in person. Honestly, I'm hoping that on the video it comes through alright, but this colour shift is the perfect style of like wrap for the RCF and I'll show you why. Now as you can see, my, uh, my, my plate fell off. <clears throat> anyway, now you can see on the lights here, which they did a fantastic job of. This is all like one piece. I don't know how they did it. Absolutely amazing. People are like, oh, when you do it yourself, book her off, mate, please. But you can see the, the lights kind of curve in a little bit. And this wrap, as I said, because you, the direct, direct angle is the turquoise and the rest is lavender, you can really see the indents much better than when you saw with like a black color. Now the grill, you can't probably tell, but it is actually still chrome. And the reason we thought we'd do that is because at the moment we have silver wheels and the trim on the ins around here, it is possible to wrap but they don't think it'll stay on for very long, so they kept it silver. And quite honestly, I'm kind of glad it turned out like this, because we can see it actually looked awesome. I mean, at some point in the future, I may make that black when I get black wheels, and then I'll wrap the grill black, and you know, fi find that way to like maybe paint that the, the around the outside of the door frame or something, but oh my God, it looks, it looks brilliant as it is. The silver wheels on Shmi's car, I never understood, but now I kind of get it. Because the, the, the purpley blue suits the silver so well, it like stands out. It's summer. It's a summery car. The seats, the red seats, I was a bit skeptical if they were going to work out with this colour. But honestly, they don't look too shabby, do they? I quite like it. Obviously, wing mirrors are black. They had to replace the badges, so those are brand new badges all around. Because will they break when you take them off? These little mud guard bits here, I don't know exactly. Uh, those are still black. I said basically keep some black accents around the car and they've done a cracking job at that. Look at that, beautiful. And obviously the diffuser is staying black as well. That's a part I definitely wanted to stay black. Oh, and don't forget the roof. This isn't wrapped at all. It's just the, the stock colour. So I'm still rocking some of the black. But oh, it's turned out so good. So I said from any angle you look at it, the direct angle is turquoise. You can see just the shading as it curves around is purple. Honestly, can you... Let me know in the comments what you think of this colour. I'd love to know, I honestly would, because, oh. I feel like at this point I'm kind of rambling, but how could you not? <laughs> like, being near that thing, hearing it, and then you look, and the, the, your eye is obviously attracted to something that's a bright colour, something different, something like, what is that? That very clearly screams that I'm the one with the loud exhaust. I think you'll agree. Now, another thing to show you very quickly is I'm going to put the spoiler up and show you underneath the spoiler. So they actually took it off and properly went ham with the spoiler as well. As you can see, under here, this is all wrapped. Under this is all wrapped. Honestly, 
Like, the, the amount of work they did on this car is stunning. So let me know down in the comments what you think of the color of the RCF. I think it's so much better. Again, perfect for the time of weather it is and perfect for matching what I like, blue and purple. That's kind of been the ch channel colors over the years, purple and then blue, kind of mixed in now a little bit. So it's just, it's honestly a ma perfect match. I went in thinking what the you know, set colors that I wanted to say. I was thinking the 3M color shift and then I was thinking some of the greens and the blues and the purples and I said all of these and pretty much we found a color that mixes all of those together. Well, not so much the green, but the light blue also almost gives off that kind of hint around the edges. I went in with some ideas and they gave me some options and pretty much decided with this color pretty quickly. There was two colors I was looking at which were by Oracle. The sh there was like a shift similar to this, which I think it was more blue and purple. This well, obviously is blue and purple, but it was like a darker blue, more actual blue rather than turquoise. But I think I've gone with the perfect color for this car. Once I start blacking out the wheels, get new wheels, because that's something I want to do at some point. I need to lower the car. There's a lot of things I need to do to this car, but the wrap's out of the way, and that's the main thing I disliked almost about the car, and it's sorted. Thank you, WMC. And if, as I said, if you're in the Birmingham area, make sure to check these guys out. They do an amazing job. Forgot to mention as well, on the back, I'll show you. On the back, you might not be able to tell, but there's a very, very, very light tint on them. And it makes it just look a bit more dark and aggressive at the same time. And that obviously stays on. So if I unwrap the car and change the color, that's going to stay because, oh my God, it might even go darker. You never know. The problem I had with the Audi RS4, as I said, it looks too similar to the other cars that you see driving around. I've, I've seen two RC cars before driving around on the road, two or three. And I could tell that they were RCs rather than RCFs. And again, most people probably won't be able to because I own this car. That's why I can tell the difference. But essentially, now that I have this color, it's <laughs> definitely going to turn some heads. I mean, it already does. As I said, driving back, it's like quadrupled the amount of people that look at this car. And the sound of the Armatrix exhaust, everything, it's all coming together very slowly. Because again, people don't realize it's a very expensive car. And with a new car, it takes it costs more for new parts, especially where the car's only got 200 in the UK. That these aren't popular cars, so parts are harder to come by and are more expensive. But the parts you do come by genuinely are some of, in my opinion, the most cracking things you can see. But I'm going to go and drive this now to realize it's not in shot. I'm going to go drive this now and have some fun. Hopefully you guys like the wrap. Let me know down in the comments. I know this was probably a short video. I mean, it was a short one, not really doing much, but I had to reveal the wrap to you guys because you, you guys want to see this as it carries on and you get the idea. Anyway, I've got a few days with this before I head off to America, so I'm going to go enjoy it. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and let me know what you think of the color, as I said about a million times already down in the comments. Until next time, guys, peace.